Unit Two, News Watch, December fourth. Education for everyone at Tampines Regional Library. The Tampines Regional Library in Singapore has more than just books. The library, which reopened its doors to the public in August 2017, after undergoing renovation work, caters to anyone with an interest in learning. Having massively increased its floor area and seating capacity, the library now has five floors and features spaces for different kinds of activities. For younger readers, there's a play area as well as a large book collection. Teenagers are provided with a more relaxed area for reading, while the adult readers section includes a volunteers corner for reading-related workshops. In addition to all these, the library features a cooking studio, work centers, and pixel labs where people can use green screens and experiment with virtual reality. There are even exercise bikes in the library's new health section, so people can burn calories while reading. With all of these elements, Tampines New and Improved Regional Library is a focal point for the community. People of all ages can go there for a varied learning experience that's setting exciting new standards for libraries. Three Square Markets microchipped employees. Three Square Market, a technology company from Wisconsin, U.S., has started inserting microchips into its employees. This might sound like a sci-fi horror movie, but in fact, the employees are having them implanted voluntarily. The chips were designed by Three Square Market with the help of Biohacks, a Swedish company. They allow wearers to open company doors, log into their computers. And even purchase food in the company's break room. Their main advantage is convenience, as people with chips need not worry about forgetting their keys, door cards, or wallets. Though the idea may seem scary, more than half of the company's staff quickly agreed to have one inserted. These chips have no GPS capability, so they can't be tracked. However. That's only one concern some people have about wearing microchips. As chips become more sophisticated, they may be used in ways that violate people's privacy. There's also a small possibility that the chips could become infected or move to other parts of the body. Right now, however, they're proving a big hit within the tech community.